This will be day nine of Scarlett's halter training. Scarlett's session today was actually only about 15 minutes long. I did speed up parts of this video, but I didn't cut any chunks out. So this is the whole entire session that we did today. And I started out with just some stick work. I got my string dangling there. Did some petting with her. I'm just reinforcing all the things that we did uh, the last couple days. Stewie get some pets. And then I'm gonna go in uh, with my stick and put the string over her back. I didn't really get it on the first time, so I had to try again. So here I just looped my sh string around the end of my stick and plopped it over her back. I'm giving her some scratches, getting the stick right where I need it uh, to grab hold of the string. And I slowed this down to normal speed so you guys can see exactly what's going on. I'm getting the end of my rope has a clip on it, so I'm putting it right in my back pocket. I've got the string over her neck, and I'm just going to reach up, give her some scratches, and grab the rope. And then I'm going to reach back and get the clip, clip it onto the end of the rope that's on my string, and then just slip the white rope around her neck. And you can see today she didn't even move really, just a little bit when the white part popped out and she could see it out of her right eye, but other than that she stayed really calm. So now I'm just twisting up the rope again to make it pretty snug on her neck. And you can see she's gotten a lot better about um, accepting that rope wiggling around. And the rest of this session is just me pulling her around, doing more um, leading. And I started this session doing some figure eights. Most horses have trouble switching directions when you first start, so she was a little bit sticky with her feet when we changed directions, but I just kept working on it with her. And she did have one little bobble today, and it was 100% my fault. What I did was, you'll see coming up here, I actually went to switch the um, hand that I was holding the rope on behind my back, which is not the way I usually do it, and that kind of scared her. If you'll notice in the video now when I switch directions I turn and face her and pull her towards me which is the way you really should do it. It's safer in case um, she spooks like that you can hold on to the rope. Um, since I did it behind my back that one time she got away from me which is not ideal. But I pulled her around until she was leading pretty good and um, then we were done for the day. This is a really good view of her confirmation. Um, for those of you who haven't been watching Scarlett's journey, um, she was bought at auction for $25. And even though she is a feral range bred horse, she does have really good confirmation and she's growing up into a really pretty horse. Scarlett's session today was short and sweet. She remembered everything we worked on the past couple days and we built upon it. This is the point of their training that gets really exciting. They can move along kind of at a faster pace. So I'm excited to show you guys that in the next couple days.